Hey everyone, I'm Shara from Woodshop Diaries and welcome to Pop Projects. In this episode, we're building a basic bench that you can use as an entryway bench, a piano bench, or just for some extra storage at the end of the bed. This design is pretty simple and you can find the project plans linked below. All you need for this project is a half sheet of three quarter inch plywood, a quarter sheet of quarter inch plywood, a circular saw, a jigsaw, and a drill. To get started, I began cutting down my three quarter inch plywood sheets into a 14 inch wide strip, a 10 and a half inch wide strip, and two five and a half inch wide strips to make the body of the bench. The plans call for using solid wood for this project. However, in this video, I used three quarter inch plywood. Either material works fine for this project. Once these are cut down, you can trim these to 34 inches long and then cut a little curved detail on the end. I use painter's tape here to help prevent the plywood from tearing out while cutting with a jigsaw. I like to use a small paint can or a roll of painter's tape or any round object you find in your shop to just kind of trace out a freehand curve. These pieces will make the front and the back pieces of the bench. sanding them down, set the circular saw's cutting depth to 3 eighths of an inch and make a mark a half inch from the bottom of both pieces. Then cut a dado along these lines. You can move your straight edge over after each cut and continue cutting until your dado is a quarter of an inch wide. If you have a router or a table saw, you can also make these dado cuts with either one of those tools as well. At this point, you can set these pieces aside and grab the 10 and a half inch wide strip that you cut from the plywood sheet earlier. Set the circular saw's bevel angle to 15 degrees and cut two pieces to use as the sides of the bench. Then adjust the blade depth to 3 eighths of an inch and cut two quarter inch dados just like previously. To finish up these pieces before assembling, you can cut a curved detail at the bottom of the piece. Again, I just used the paint can to trace out my curved design. inch plywood bottom according to the cut list in the plans linked below to fit into these dados and begin assembling using 1 and 5 8 inch wood screws. Bore these holes with a 3 8 inch drill bit if you want to plug the holes later with a 3 8 inch dowel or if you're going to paint you can simply putty over the screw holes once you've finished. Finally cut a piece for the top from the 14 inch wide plywood strip that you cut earlier. Edge band the edges if you want to cover up the exposed plywood edges before you attach. Install the top onto the bench using a 30 inch piano hinge. To prevent the lid from slamming shut, you can also install a lid support here. However, I did install this on the right side of the bench and I would recommend probably getting a center support versus a side support since these sides are angled. Now it's ready to finish with paint, stain, or both. I hope you've enjoyed this build and thanks so much for watching this episode of Pop Projects. Let me know in the comments below how it went and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming projects that I'm doing with Popular Mechanics.